Welcome in to another tutorial. Today we are not doing a stitch tutorial. We are showing eggs. Well, if you can do the shape right, they're eggs. And then you can hang them up as needed, as required. And hopefully you get a better shape than me, but still. We're going to do some eggs. So what you're going to need for eggs is some PVA glue, a balloon. It doesn't really matter the size. You're only going to be blowing up a, a little bit to your desired um, sizing. But PVA glue is a necessity. A balloon. Now, depending on the, the size of egg you want, um, these were made with a um, 2.5 millimeter needle. The recommendation for this that I would say is half of whatever your wool says that you need. So I am using hipster cotton. So this tutorial is sponsored by Cindy Life and Yarn Tangled. And Beverly over at Bailey Nukta Cat and the Prowl Creations because they supplied the hipster cotton. So let's get going. So, the first thing that you need to do, of course, is a slip knot, leaving a reasonable tail and you want to chain eight and now we slip stitch to that very first chain chain one whoops trying to get the there we go, chain one. And now we're doing 12 single crochet into that ring. Of course, you can speed this up. You can slow it down. You can pause. So if anything um, is too slow, because I know I'm a very slow crocheter, by all means, fast forward. Use the timestamps if you wish. And now I've already forgotten how many I've done. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And then slip stitch to the first single crochet. And I'm just going to double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oops. I went too many over. Did I not count enough? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's why. Didn't count right the first time. So now let's slip stitch. Counting is very, very important when it comes to a lot of things. Make sure you do. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay. So when you've got your twelve, third round chain four and that counts as a double crochet plus a chain of one and what we're going to do is double crochet chain one all the way around so that first one can be a little bit tricky to get into Do 
double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and do that in every single crochet all the way around. And you should have 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I've made one extra. I went in the wrong one by accident. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then you want to slip stitch into the third chain. So one, two, three, and in you go for a slip stitch. Okay, now we chain four again. So, oops, move the tail out of the way. One, two, three, and four. Now this counts as a double crochet and a chain one. We are then going to do two double crochets and a chain one in the next double crochet or above, should I say. So we're doing two double crochets and chain one. In the next double crochet, just here, we're going to do a double crochet and chain one into the next two double crochets. Oops, let's try that again without it splitting. Two double crochets into the same stitch and chain one into the next one double crochet and chain one into the next two and so on all the way around so two double crochets chain one one double crochet and chain one, two double crochets and chain one, one double crochet and chain one. Two Double crochets, chain one, one double crochet, chain one, and two double crochets, chain one. Now count at this point. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Make sure you've done that chain one. And up on the third chain, one, two, three, that is where you slip stitch to end the round. Okay. Now, round five, chain four. And that counts as a double crochet and a chain one. We want to double crochet and chain one every double crochet. So we're going in. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one. Don't go into the chain one gap, go into the top of the double crochet. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, all the way around. And you should still have 18 double crochet when you finish. I'm a stickler for counting rounds because I always struggle with counting rounds. I'll admit that because a lot of people do. Nothing to be ashamed of. Just make sure you count. Oops. The good thing is these are nice and quick to make. You can turn them into bunting. You could have a fruit bowl full of them. You could even put little sweets inside them. And they are reusable. Now at this point, chaining one, and I'm counting before I slip stitch. So I need 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So I got it correct. And we are slip stitching to the third chain again. One, two, three, four, a slip stitch. Okay, now let's bring the eggs back. Now we are going to be doing this egg, but with practice, you might be able to do one with three different clusters, or maybe four, or even come up with your own little design. But it's this one that we're doing today. So let's just put them over there. Stay eggies. Good eggies. Okay. So round six. Let's chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Now this counts as a treble and a chain one. So into the next into the top of the next double we're going to do a treble and a chain one treble and chain one into the next treble And chain one. 
and you want a treble and a chain one on top of every double crochet from the round below. So all the way around. Now, as you're not increasing, of course, that means that you will still have 18 stitches in the round. You can make these with a bobble stitch, a puff stitch, shell stitch if you fancy. But today we're going to be doing them with a cluster, which we'll get to in the next round. You make them as lacy as you like, as solid as you like. And if you fancy them to be even stiffer, you could always use some spray starch. I wonder why that's not focusing properly. I'm so sorry. I will warn you that the PVA stage, it's very messy. But that's okay. Sometimes mess equals a good outcome. Sometimes. Okay, so this is where I am going to count because I'm now at the end. Do that chain one. And I should have 18 if I don't. I'll do one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and that counts as my eighteenth. So again, we are going to slip stitch into the fourth. One, two, three, four. Slip stitch in. Okay, next round, chain three, and this is where we're going to make the clusters. So, we are going to do three treble cluster, and we're going right into the base of this chain that we've just done. So, where this chain is coming out, we're going directly into there and we are going to do three treble cluster. So wrapped over twice and in, yarn over, pull through, bring up that loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, You've got two trebles on your hook. Yarn over again. Whoops. Go into the same stitch. And I've just done a double because I didn't yarn over twice. That was silly. Sorry. Yarn over twice into the same stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, 
you've now got three trebles on your hook. Do one more. Yarn over twice into that same stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. I now have four trebles on my hook. Yarn over, pull through all. Now when we've got our little cluster, we are then going to chain three. One, two, three. And we are going to skip the next double crochet and we're going to put four trebles, four treble cluster into the next. So yarn over twice, skip. In fact, we're skipping that one. I apologize. I nearly got it wrong. That is your next. We're skipping that one. We're going into the next. So we're going in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over twice into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Oops. We've got two on our hook. Yarn over twice into the same. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. We now have three trebles on our hook. Yarn over twice in. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. We now have the four trebles we need. So we're going to yarn over and pull through all. And there's our second cluster. We chain three. Skip the next. And go into the top of the next and we're going to do that all the way around a four treble cluster Skip, go into the next, don't forget you can slow this video down, you can pause, you can rewind, you can speed up, or you can use the timestamps that are in the description if you do so wish. Skip into the next. Chain three, skip the next, go into the next.
chain three. Skip the next, yarn over twice into the top of the double, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, two loops in your hook. Yarn over twice into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, three on your hook. Yarn over twice into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, four loops on the hook, three of which are trebles. Yarn over twice into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook to close the cluster and chain three. Skip into the next. And at the end, you should have nine clusters. And chain three. Count your clusters to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you're going into the top of that cluster. So there's your cluster. And where the chain is coming out, that stitch is your top. So in for a slip stitch. And there you have your nine clusters. Okay, next, chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Now that counts as a treble and a chain one. And we're going to do a treble and a chain one. As of now, but we're going into the second chain to do a treble and a chain one. We are going to do a treble in the top of the cluster. And I've already done it wrong because I didn't no, oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Nearly did. <laughs> didn't. <laughs> Into the top of the cluster. Remember, the top is where the chain is coming from. So there's your chain going into the top of the cluster for a treble and a chain one into the second chain treble and chain one 
top of the cluster treble and chain one and second chain treble chain one and do that all the way around In you go, thank you. Now this is a nice quick egg to make if you're a quick crocheter you may well be able to do this in around half an hour if you're slow like me you're looking closer to an hour an hour an egg i'm sure a chicken would be grateful if it only took an hour to lay an egg Either way, it's a fairly quick make for a little something for Easter. Especially if you're a little bit better than me with the shaping of the egg in the end. So, oops, there we have so far. Okay, so that's so far. Now we need to make sure we've got 18. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We need to do one more because that chain still doesn't have one in. Good job I counted because I nearly missed the chain. So in I go for the treble in the chain. Chain one. And slip stitch into the top. Okay, now let's start decreasing. We need to chain three. One, two, three. And now we're going to do a double crochet two together. Let me do that slip stitch a little bit better because I didn't quite get the full stitch. There we go. So now chain three. So to do a double crochet two together we're going in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over go into the next stitch in yarn over pull through pull through two and you're left with three on your hook Yarn over, pull through all three. There's a decrease. You're making two stitches into one. So from there, 
we're going to double crochet into the next and then double crochet Oops. I do apologize okay so when you've done your double crochet your next is a double crochet two together so next go in pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over go into the next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two three on your hook yarn over pull through all three double crochet into the next and into the next double crochet two together so in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over into the next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through all three into the next stitch double crochet the next two together next double next two together Oops. next double two together And then we count because we should now have 12. 1, 2, 3. Might be easier to count the tops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just double checking, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Good. And this will be the twelfth. We're going in. Oops. Slip stitch into the top. So let's just double check. Now we've slip stitched. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, you see we're decreasing. From here, we're going to chain two. Oops. one and two and then we're going to double crochet double crochet two together oops make sure you get the full stitch This can be a little bit fiddly finding your stitches, but I have faith in you. Um, two together. So we need to go into the next one. 
and two together. Two together. And then slip stitch to finish off. Now make sure that you leave a long enough tail. Okay, let's move that out of the way. Now this is where you cinch up the bottom and just using the last round just weave that tail through so it just closes up the bottom of your freshly made egg. Now, what I like to do, and this is up to you, you can either finish it off there as it's closed, or if you take your hook again and insert through the top, bring that through the egg Stretch it a little bit and then very gently, without pulling too tight, make a knot at the top. If you pull too tight, you're going to do that with your egg. You don't want to do that. Okay, just do a knot without pulling tight. Now, all you need to do now is coat your egg. Don't have to do the strands, but you coat your egg in PVA glue. Get a good dollop, rub it all round. Yes, it gets messy, but then you insert your balloon into the top of the egg. So you've got just the mouthpiece um, showing. You blow it up so that the egg is a nice shape. And then from there, tie it off and leave it overnight. And then gently remove the balloon and you end up with hopefully slightly better shaped eggs. I've cinched the top there. Let's just do that and go. And then the tails can help you hang them. And there we have your Easter egg. Hopefully you enjoy. And there'll be another one, another tutorial next week. Hopefully you found this enjoyable. Make your own. Show me if you do. I'd love to see the different colours and different shapes. And maybe you might get a little bit adventurous with what goes in the middle. Take care. Hopefully see you soon. Subscribe. Like. See you later. Bye bye.